everybody, Mark from Ayers Outdoors. Uh, I'm coming to you today to we'll start on this uh, beginner bushcraft series. This is going to be the um, natural shelter build for the first video. And uh, I've got my son Corbin here, he's going to help me out with this and we're going to get some father son time together. So uh, this is going to be a part of a community outdoors in my new playlist down at the bottom. Go check that out and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to get to it. Thanks. Alright everybody, this is uh these are the frame poles we're gonna be using. We gathered up about 10 of them. We may need more. Um don't know yet, we're gonna have to lay it out and see, but we got all our poles, we've uh delimbed everything, and uh now I'm gonna start making the holes for for the frame poles in the ground. So stay tuned.
Okay guys, so what we're doing now is pounding holes in the ground for our frame poles to go into. Um, we'll get the holes pounded in and then we're gonna start setting in our poles uh, to outline our structure. So um, I'm gonna get to it, you guys stay with me. guys so what we have now are all of our poles in the ground in a circle formation what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take the top of these and bend them in all to the center like this and lash them together or just tie them together until we make a dome see if we can do that I'm gonna use um, Bank line, I believe it's 235 pound test, wax cordage. Get this at Walmart. Put a loop in one side, and I'm gonna loop this over the first post, draw it down, and then draw the next one and lash and do that all the way around. All right, guys, this is where we're at so far. We got the poles put up into the dome shape got to go around and gather some vines to wrap around the outside of it interweaved in and out of the branches and give a surface area to put our boughs leaves things of that sort on use some bank line up top I believe it's number 36 bank line um, to lash up the poles together bank line is going to be the only natural made or only man-made material in this whole thing so we're going to go get all of our vines and start wrapping it up. So, uh, Gordon, you having fun? Yes. That's what matters. Thanks, guys. What I'm doing is going around this with these vines and tying it off a bank line at every intersection. Give it a little more stability. Give me a place to set my pine boughs and my debris. All right, everyone, that's what I've gotten so far. We've got our frame built. We've got it wrapped around with vines, tied and secured, lashed together pretty good. We got our opening for our door right here. It's coming along pretty good. It's extremely windy out here today, but it's been raining forever, so it was a good day to get out and enjoy the sunshine and try to get this shelter going for us. So I don't know that I'll get it all done today. I might have to come back out to finish it up, but it's about ready to start adding pine boughs and get ready for an overnight. So thanks, guys. guys so now we got our structure up we're starting to lay on the pine boughs um, being here in Georgia there's not a whole lot to work with as far as 
cover elements go. So palm boughs are about the best bet. We're just gonna have to layer them on. Once we get the palm boughs on top, we might put another layer of leaves um, just to try to seal it up as best as we can. But uh, it's a pretty long process. You just take your, take your boughs and just kind of hook them in. That's where these vines come in handy. You just take and hook them in and they'll lay there. Weave it in and out. And just keep laying them on and stacking them until you get a nice coverage over the whole thing. Probably going to have to collect a lot more. Like I said, it's a long process, but it'll work. It's for beginners. It's, uh, it's a simple structure. Something you guys can put together. Not going to take you too long. Doesn't take any kind of hard materials. Just some saplings, some pine boughs, a little bit of cordage. So I'm going to get to this and I'll get back to you. All right, everybody. So I'm adding all the pine boughs on now. You see it's coming along. It takes a lot of pine boughs to do this. Um, just got to keep stacking it, keep weaving it in and out. Eventually you'll get there. I like to try to start at the bottom and work your way up to the top acts as a shingle effect that way you keep overlapping what you've got all the way up to the top once you get to the top you just overlap it and pile as much on as you can it'll eventually all settle in and kind of mash up once you get it all on there get inside and take some of the the uh, limbs that are sticking in and just kind of tuck them in and weave them in in and out of each other and it helps seal it in so i'm going to keep going with that all right everyone gonna try to wrap it up for the day me and Corbin have been out here all day on this thing just kind of uh, taking our time with it and doing a father-son thing um, we got pound bells on it we got the frame put up we got everything tied together really all that's left to do is to add more pine bells and get this thing waterproof uh, that's gonna take a little more, bit more time and I think we're gonna come back out and do it again on another day maybe next weekend um, so That'll be the next scene you see. So I'll uh, I'll holler at you then. Thanks. All right, guys. It's a week later. I'm back out here with my shelter build. It's actually a pretty nice day today. The wind's not as heavy as it was the first day I was out here building this thing. Um, the rains have subsided for, I think, a day for today. That's it. So uh, I'm going to try to get this thing finished up. I'm going to add some more pine boughs to the top of it, try to fill in some of these holes. When I get done doing that, I'm going to gather up some leaf litter, um, some duff off the ground, and try to pack it all in there pretty tight to get this thing a little bit more water secured. And uh, we'll go from there. So stick with me. Okay, guys. I think that's going to be it for the pine boughs. Um, there's still some holes here and there, uh, and that's what that leaf litter is going to be for. So I'm going to gather up a bunch of that and start just piling it on. I think I'm going to start at the bottom and try to work my way up, and just that way it lays on each other and goes all the way up to the top. So I'm going to get started on that.
So as you put the pine boughs on there, or once you get the pine boughs on there, as you start adding your leaves to it, the pine boughs kind of help hold the leaves in place. So you can kind of place it. They still try to fall to the bottom and you still have to build your way up, but it's, uh, it's better than nothing. So the pine boughs kind of act like uh, a webbing for the, uh, for the leaves to stick to. All right, guys, so this is it. This is my willow hut. Um, this is my part of the beginner bushcraft series with uh, the couple other fellows I'm working with. I'll mention them in a minute. This has been a fun project with uh, my son. Getting him out here was a blessing. Um, took us probably about a day to do it, but we enjoyed every bit of it. Uh, I will say that it's a challenge trying to film this stuff while you're doing it and be detailed about it. Um, that was probably the biggest challenge of this whole thing. So I hope that I was detailed enough for you guys to be able to take something from this and learn. But um, so just to kind of recap, basically we collected up 10 saplings out of the woods, uh, just something that was flexible enough to bend into place and uh, nothing special, just whatever we could find. So we gathered up 10 saplings we drove 10 holes in the ground in the diameter that we wanted this. And then we sunk our saplings in the ground. From that point, we bent our, bent our saplings into place and lashed them. After that, we found some vine and started and wrapped around this entire thing with vine, lashing it as we went. Once we had done that, we cut the vine out for the door. From that point, we started gathering pine boughs, um, quite, a, quite a bit of them, to cover the entire roof of this thing. And uh, we, we tried to put them on upside down because the branches on them made nice hooks to stick into the, um, the, the vines that we had put on. So once we had all that done, we started gathering up um, just leaf litter and duff off the floor and piling it on. Um, takes a lot of that to work and it tries to fall off you gotta kind of have to start from the bottom and work your way up um, I still probably don't have enough on here but it's supposed to rain like crazy tomorrow I'll probably get a couple inches and um, I'm gonna see what that does to the roof of this thing I'm hoping it kind of packs it down and I can come back and add more to it and it'll give me a better better layer so there's a couple layers on here to shield from the rain is it completely waterproof I wouldn't say that, but I'm hoping that as time goes on and I add to it, it'll get better and better. Um, it took basically three tools to do this entire project. Um, one of the tools is this Fiskars folding saw. And I know there's better ones out there, Silkies and, and uh, Bacos, and, but I've had this thing for a couple years and it cuts like a dream. And it's been good to me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use it until I can. Other than that, I have a Condor Bush Lore Bushcraft knife. I really like this knife. I've heard a lot of bad things about it, but I've used this thing now for probably a little over a year, and it's been good to me as well. So I have nothing bad to say about it. Other than that. A good old trusty axe. It's a snow and snow and Neely Hudson Bay. Um, it's another one. It's been good to me. I'll keep using these things until they fail me, and they haven't yet. So, that being said, I'd like to talk for a minute about the other guys I'm working with. A uh, great group group of guys. That got me in on this series. Um, you've probably already seen a couple builds they've done, and uh, there's probably more to come. So uh, I'd like to mention them. We've got Rod from Beat Around the Bushcraft. We've got Doug from Grim Raven. We've got Sean from A Family Outdoors, and we've got Jason from Happy Mountain Trekkers. Great guys. Uh, very talented. Uh, can't wait to see what they come up with. I'm going to put links in my description down below so you all can go out and check out their pages or their channels. 
subscribe to their channels, man. We got we got so much more coming. This is just the beginning, and uh, we're all pretty pumped up about it. And you know, it's a good time. It's great for your family. It's good for you to get out in the woods. It's good for your soul. And uh, I can't say that enough. Um, so, in conclusion, this is it. I've hoped you enjoyed this. Um, it's an experience, and uh, there's a lot more to come. So, I'm Mark with Harris Outdoors, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.